Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to share with you uh, concerning uh, the horrific human rights abuses of, of atheists today. Um, especially this modern new atheism, uh, this militant, aggressive kind of atheism. And I just want to just give you an example of the gross abuse that of human rights that the modern atheists are doing. For example, I've had four atheists at least uh, Skype me, talk to me, pretend to be my friend. Some of them have published material that I have actually said to them privately on YouTube. Edited it, misquoted it, mispresented my information. But not only that, it was private information. That is a gross dereliction of human rights. Also, some atheists have me talking on Skype and then they've had people in the background listening where they're recording the information trying to entrap me and spy on me. This is a gross dereliction of human rights. If this happened to the gay community, people would be up in arms. But because it happens to Christians, nobody bothers. I've had over a hundred thousand comments made at me by atheists. 99% of those comments have been abusive. They've been on the verge of hate crime. Now, if that was done to the gay community, people, the government of America and the, and the United Kingdom would have been up in arms about it. But no, not with a Christian. It's all fair game for a Christian. They can get slaughtered. They can have hate pumped at them etc um, not only that but Sam Harris, Richard Dawkins the works of um, the works of Christopher Hitchens when he says that religion poisons everything if I said gay people poison everything or homosexuality poison everything I'd be put in prison but he gets away with it he can say it about Christian people uh, Richard Dawkins he says um, it you know it's child abuse if you raise your children six day creation if I said that about gay people I'd be arrested or black people I'd be arrested Sam Harris says you know uh, Christians are dangerous because they are irrational they could blow people up like like uh, Muslim extremists if I said that about gay or black people I'd be arrested but he gets away with it Christian rights are being systematically abused in the West. Uh, atheists are at the forefront of this abuse and nobody's doing anything about it in politics anywhere because it's so easy, so good to shit on Christians today. So why politicians don't you stand up for Christian rights? Why is it okay for the atheists to shit on Christians all the time? and for us to take it all the time. Why? Tell me why. Is anybody going to stand up for it? No. Is anybody going to stand up for the Christians? No. The fur game. The fur game. They don't have any rights. They don't deserve any respect. They don't deserve any rights. Well, I think that you get what you deserve and if you won't stand up for the rights of others, then there'll be a day when your rights will be taken away. So it's up to you. If you want to be, live in a totalitarian regime in the West, then that's up to you. But I hope that some people realise that this abuse that Christians are coming under is not right, it's not fair, and it's not good, and it's not good for society, it's not good for civilization. And Christians, uh, and you need to start standing up for Christians because they're being treated like people treat gay people, homophobia, or um, you know racism. This kind of mentality is creeping in against Christians. This kind of hate mentality, where Christians are easy game for abuse, and they're not easy game. They're human beings. And they deserve respect just as much as anybody else. That's what I think. I know I've been strong. I don't care what anybody thinks. 
I'm saying it as it is. If you don't like it, it's tough. That's the way it is. And at the end of the day, were you there for me when I wasn't well, when I was broken? No, you wasn't. So why should I listen to you? I'm going to listen to people who are my friends, who care about me, and who want to be my friends. And I'm just telling people what it is that is getting on my back. And what is getting on my back is this aggressive atheism that is attacking Christian rights and abusing Christian people. And I'm sick of it, and I want somebody to stand up and do something about it.